All right, let me explain this video to you. I've always been a fan of geology. When I was a kid, I used to collect rocks. You know, uh, me and my grandchildren go down and pan for gold down in our creek on the property. And I'm always fascinated on how things are formed, like gemstones or gold or whatever. So this bowl, these right here, are uh, emeralds, or the acrylic emeralds, emeralds. If you've ever been to a wedding, they're scattered on the tables. Uh, that's what they are. So this bowl, I'm going to use this uh, piece of walnut right here. It's old. It's, I've had it for over 10 years drying. Don't worry, I got more. And uh, I'm going to make my interpretation of how gems are made. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your Moon Pie Creations presentation. Nice piece of walnut here. Hmm. What color would go good with that? See, I know this is not round yet. You can see shiny spots still on here. So that means it's not round. That means it's still got a little further to go. You can see those little pieces there. That's going to look so cool. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
All right, so now that we got the back done right here, I uh, just want to see this. This is so cool. There's more in here, I think, of these gems. Uh, I should have crammed more down in here. That would have been so, so cool. This one's pretty cool. It's Like I said, this is a prototype to see how it would work, and they work pretty darn good. I might have to make a few more of these with different colors. So, all right, let's get to sanding this bad boy. All right, now we got it to uh, 220. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sanding sealer. I always have tear out and rough spots on walnut, but this stuff's super old and super dry, so. Now I know this is only gonna be the first uh, coat of, of the sanding sealer, but are you guys ready for this, uh, what I like to call the money shot? Damn, that's gonna be pretty. Don't be shy with it. Have fun with it, play with it. Rub it in, smack it up, lick it down. I don't know if you know, but this is edible. Doesn't taste very good, but it's edible.
Okay, I've got two of them that are loose here. We're going to glue back in. So let me go get some. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a minute or two, and then we'll get back to it. Had it in reverse. All right, so uh, <laughs> it's Thursday morning. I'm trying to get this video edited and I uh, need to do an outro for it. I was up late last night till about midnight, one o'clock doing the editing. But I wanna talk about this bowl right here. Here's the final bowl. I know you saw the pictures and stuff. I I'm really happy the way that this, uh, this, this prototype basically came out. Um, I did learn a few things. One, this, this, Walnut is just amazing to turn. It's so nice. I didn't have any trouble with this bowl except for uh, a couple of these uh, gems came out. Well, I glued them back in, not a problem. So the lesson learned there is I should have roughed up these gems. That's a lot of roughing, but should have roughed up them gems. And uh, I'm not really sure if you'd like, like it or not, but I think I, I like it a lot. It has... Uh, the earth here has the fire that and the pressure that makes the gemstones. That's my interpretation of it. So, all right. Well, until next time, stay cool.